Sister Augusta, what is your testimony? Um, well, I feel like there's probably different ones that could relate to different situations. But in general, I feel like my testimony is that, um, you know, I have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And, you know, although I've been through some struggles, God has never left my side. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Absolutely. So you just you just talked about the goodness of God. Now, I'm not going to call you all one by one, but I'm going to call you all one by one. Sister Nikki, what's your testimony? Sorry, what did you say, Evangelist? I'm sorry. What's your testimony? Why do you follow Christ? Um, I follow him because the way I was going wasn't right. Um, I needed a change. I seen myself um, just not doing good and not stuff was just happening to keep happening to me. And I just knew I needed a new beginning a new way I needed to be able to um, try different things and because my way wasn't working and you know I stumble I fall I backslide but I know from just being in this group and getting the knowledge that he will never forsake me and he will always be there for me even when the worst happened I remember Gwen and um, Javon sitting in my living room with me and I said, I mean, they, you know, we were talking and they're like, you know, uh, when are you going to get back on the line? And I'm like, I don't know, you know, because in my mind, I just lost my son. I, I ain't worried about that. Then I thought about it after they left, you know, because they were encouraging, like, you know, come on, you know, and I was like, well, you know, not this week, but maybe in a week or so or whatever. And that right there showed me when I got back online and y'all, you know, was talking to me and loving on me. This is where I need to be. This is what I need. You know what I'm saying? You know, it helps me with my grieving process. It helps me know that I am in the right place and I am doing what I need to be doing at this moment. Even like I said, that was the worst is the worst. You know what I'm saying? Thing that happened to me, but I'm still going, I'm still believing, you know, I wasn't mad at God when my son got killed, you know what I'm saying, because like I said, it was already written, you know, but without that knowledge, I don't think I could have been there, so that's my testimony, I thank and praise him for just keeping me. Praise God. Yeah. What is this? No, that's all I was going to say was praise the Lord. Whoever was going to speak next, go ahead. Sister Sean, what's your testimony? Why do you follow Christ? <sighs> I've been through some dark places. And without him, I would not have made it. He has been there for me when I have not been there for myself. Every day, every day I wake up and I praise him. Every day I use him for strength. I still cannot make it without him. And I just thank him and I praise him for just 
allow me to be here. And that is why I just try to spread the gospel to other people because I just don't know how people can just walk in darkness without him. Like he is the light of this world and it just touches my heart so much, honestly. I just get so emotional when I think about like what I have been through and what he has brought me through. And I just know that like, honestly, like there is still so much in my life that I probably still have to go through. And I just need him to lean on. And I just love him so much. And so, I just, I really can't live life without him, honestly. He is the king and he is our redeemer. And that is why I just devote my life to him. And I just try every day to get closer to him. And I know I fall short, but I am really honestly trying. And I thank all the ladies here for everything that they do and for the sisterhood. And um, I just encourage everyone to just try really hard to just do the best that they can to draw closer to him. And that is why I am here. Praise God. That's that's beautiful. And and this is why um, the word says we should always be ready to give an answer about the gospel, about why we do what we do. I know um, Sister Nadine is bowling, so we're going to get her next week. Her background is loud. Sister Shanae, what about you? Oh, yeah, I was trying to wait to last, of course. Um, <laughs> I mean, because I, you know, I got, I got it. So since... When I was a child and I found out that it was this man that died for everybody in their sins, I was thankful to, for God. I was thankful to God for that person. So um, I thank God that I, I, got him, I got in early in the game. But as, as an adult, I still follow him because God loved me so much. He gave up his only child, only child to save me not just me, everybody in this world. He died, buried, rose again, and is our savior. Like he's been there, always been there from the beginning before even all of us existed. Know my name, know the hair on my head. He just knows me, so why not follow him? He's the perfect example of what I should be. So I'm gonna follow him because he is the truth. He is the light. He is that one. And that's why I follow him because he's gotten, of course, me through many things in life. Even his name is so powerful. It has power behind it, especially with the Holy Spirit. So that's why I follow him. Praise God. Amen. No, I need my turn. I'm not bowling. Okay. Come I on. went early and I could be in Bible study. I was being fat and I was in the drive through line. Hold on, here I come. I'm coming. So I thought, can y'all hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, sorry, because I won't connect to my car for some stupid reason. 
But I follow God because what other way is there to go? Um, I'm going to piggyback off a couple people's different things. My way wasn't working. Um, and God decided to keep showing up. So he's like, okay, I'm going to just keep showing you who I am and what I'm doing in your life. And you out here doing wrong. Just imagine if you was out here doing what you're supposed to do, using your gifts that I gave you, um, worshiping me like you're supposed to. So, you know, I, I, under, I understand the assignment. That's the best way to say it. I'm sum it up. I understand the assignment. So that's why I follow God. Praise God. It's, it's good to understand the assignment. So, so when we are witnessing the people, pull from your own testimony. Listen, when you out, when you're out talking to people, listen to what it is that they are saying, because I'm sure there's something that they can that they say will resonate with you and you'll be able to minister to that thing that they just spoke about. Somebody could say, 